Hello there, welcome back to Joe's Home Flavors. I'm Joel Silva, and today I bring you a salad, an exotic one because it's made out of uh, crab meat. So stay tuned and I'll tell you now what you need. So for our salad today, um, we need a few things. Um, first and foremost, we need some uh, pasta. This is uh, called Cotillini. It's uh, a very tiny pasta. Looks like a little shell, like like uh, little um, um, seashells, uh, and we use that. Uh, we're going to cook that pasta and um, and use that pasta in our salad. We have a few greens in this case. Uh, basically, um, your day-to-day -day, um, lettuce. We have a nice big uh, tomato. We have uh, an onion, fresh onion. We have some uh, olives. Um, we have some capers as well. Some uh, hard-boiled eggs and our crab meat, of course. We'll be seasoning our, our salad with our vinaigrette. Uh, it's a homemade uh, vinaigrette, but it's pretty easy uh, to make. The only difference from a, 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 a regular, your regular um, everyday vinaigrette is that I've added a little bit of uh, honey to give it a, a nice sweet spot. And, uh, but other than that, it's just uh, whole grain uh, uh, mustard, uh, white wine vinegar, and uh, a little bit of olive oil. And uh, I'll tell you the portions and everything uh, on uh, joesonflavors.com. And um, yeah, and that's, that's our dressing. I'm not going to be using any salt today on our salad because my uh, crab meat is already um, been uh, seasoned. Um, again, I'll put a, a link up here so you can see um, uh, how I do this and uh, and um, what, what what goes into this uh, this uh, crab meat salad um, uh, or, or uh, crab meat pre uh, preparation. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be the, the, the main character of our salad, um, but everything else will uh, support it nicely. So let's get on with it. So I have about 120 grams of this uh, nice little pasta. You can use any pasta you want. This is called uh, Consiglieni, I think it, it's called. Uh, it's like, um, so uh, uh, it's like Consiglioni, which is, uh, it means um, seashells in, uh, in Italian, but tiny ones, so yini instead of yoni. Right, so we're using the 120 uh, grams worth of, um, of uh, this pasta and then we're going to cook that as soon as, as this water comes to the boil, okay? Not just yet, for uh, another second or so. Okay, so while we wait uh, for our water to come to temperature so we can uh, cook that pasta, I'm going to take care of our eggs. These are two uh, hard-boiled eggs. Uh, in this uh, case, they are cold because I've um, I've uh, cooked them uh, earlier. So we're going to crack these and sort them out. So the shells off. And now we have our eggs prepped. I have all my ingredients over here at hand because we're going to assemble our salads on here. So. Getting ready with the, the rest of the stuff uh, as this water comes to, to, to a boil, uh, I'm now going to prep my onion. So, this is a, a green onion. And I'm going to use that as well, but uh, for the time being, I'm just chopping this one. And uh, I'm going to chop it really thin. I'm actually only going to use half of that onion because I don't want to, uh, that onion uh, stingness to take over the flavor. And uh, now we're going to work this tomato, so just getting rid of that stem. Okay, like that. Now that the tomato, I'm going to do this sort of angle cuts because I want to have chunks of tomato in my salad and I'm going to reserve that. Right. The eggs, I have two ways of uh, using the eggs and uh, I'll show you as soon as uh, I'm ready with, uh, with my pasta, okay? So my water is now um, kind of boiling already so I'm going to pour this pasta in and I'm going to use a little bit of salt in this water just to get that um, 
that pasta going. This, this is very tiny pasta, so it will cook really fast. It'll cook in a few minutes. Okay, so let's have that there for now. Right, so our pasta is pretty much cooked. Um, we want to leave it al dente a little bit because we want that uh, sort of uh, texture and contribution to the salad. I'm now going to remove it from the water and sift it here. Take as much of that water as I can. Okay. The pasta is still cooking, believe it or not. So one way I have to um, stop it from cooking further is to dunk it into cold water. This is this is absolutely um, frozen water. So and then um, this will have two effects. One of them is to um, cool my uh, pasta, and the other one is to cool it enough to stop cooking. So I'm just going to leave it there for a little bit. I'm going to start assembling my salad. Uh, first with my leaves. Um, this is supposed to be... Um, uh, this, will, this is intended to be a home salad, so... Uh, don't need to be too fancy in terms of presentation, because obviously what we want is real food. Okay, so we have coated the the plate here with the, our green leaves and we're now going to sprinkle our onions like that this is a very much of a rustic salad rustic sea salad um, and yeah so this is only half of onion half of an onion and now we want our uh, tomato wedges to go in there as well and this is to make it these this, uh, tomatoes are really nice and juicy and um, I'm pretty sure that they are delicious as well because I've tried them before so yeah so we have our tomato in there right so now I'm going to use and this is uh, so I only have the the, the um, uh, salad leaves so the, the uh, lettuce the tomato and the onion and now I'm going to sprinkle the the oregano on top of the tomatoes like that and because I'm feeling bold, I'm going to use just a little bit of olive oil, okay? Nothing, nothing too much, just a little bit on top of those tomatoes, something like that. Just so that uh, that um, those um, oregano's. Uh, will stick to to the tomatoes. Our pasta is already cooled down, so it's just draining there a little bit. And now we're going to use our eggs. So I'm going to slice one of these eggs using one one of these magnificent tools, like that. And uh, again, just spread it around a little bit. and our capers as well I like them I like capers very much I don't know about you but uh, capers are really nice and they have um, this uh, waking up property uh, when you're not um, when, you, when, when the salad is um, sometimes getting a bit dull and you find one of these guys um, there somewhere it will um, it will wake you up right so we have almost everything on there and now we're going for our pasta so our pasta is drained and we're gonna put this pasta in the center there like 
this. And on top of that pasta, maybe a couple of more of these uh, capers. And now comes our uh, crab meat. I'm going to have this crab meat on top of that pasta. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? I think it does. Now we have a few olives that go on the sides here. I have uh, um, black olives and green olives but you can use whichever you like or whichever you have at hand. Okay. This is almost like a Mediterranean um, well, it is a Mediterranean style um, sort of salad, but um, you call it what you want, and I'll call it what I want. Right, so now, before the last egg, dress the sides of this salad, so the tomatoes and the, and the salad leaves and uh, everything else but obviously not the, the crab meat because that's already seasoned. And the, the, the dressing here, it's all obviously to taste as well. And now, to finish it up, I have one more egg and I'm going to use this egg in a different way. So, cheese grated. Just going Spread this egg all over my salad. Just to give it a nice finishing. Look at that. And that's it. We're done. I'm going to clean up a little bit and uh, give it a go. So here we go guys, uh, today is a simple one, um, this is just a, um, um, a not too elaborate uh, summer salad, um, you can use, you can skip some things if you don't, if you don't like them, like the capers or, or like that, or um, you can uh, add on to it, I think it doesn't need uh, much more, um, because obviously the, 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 the queen of this, um, of this dish is the uh, crab meat, so uh, we have the crab meat, we have the pasta beneath, and then we have the salads. So we have the, 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 the lettuce and the tomato and the onion uh, to give it that freshness. We have uh, all the Mediterranean bits like the, the capers and the, and the olives. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, ensemble. And um, I would, I would uh, um, try this a couple of times. I, actually, I've, I've, uh, I've done it before. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to just try a little bit here um, before actually taking it to the table. And uh, hmm. oh yeah, of course, of course the whole thing comes together. Um, that crab meat uh, is already seasoned, and uh, because um, as we'll see. Uh, if you go and check out the, the recipe, and then there's a few things going on to that uh, going in that crab uh, meat as well. So there's a lot of seasoning going on there. The seasoning of the salad um, also uh, sort of uh, spreads out to to the whole um, dish. Um, the uh, the dressing um, of that um, uh, honey vinaigrette uh, is also is also very nice and, and subtle. And yeah, it's just it's just a nice salad. And uh, I'm sure that if you bring that to the table any day of the week, especially on a summer day, uh, people will um, have you in their hearts. So um, I hope you like this recipe as well. Um, you know, I have a blog, so you can go there and uh, check out all the ingredients um, if you um, uh, if you want to know um, pretty much everything that's that's on there or any other uh, of my recipes. Um, Give me a comment if you, if you have any ideas on it or if you think, oh, it could improve with this or it could, or maybe you should uh, uh, not have that or whatever. Um, uh, lay it down on the, on the comments there. 
um, and um, I promise to respond to you. And uh, I hope you come back on the next one. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, share it with friends. You, if you're watching this and if you haven't subscribed, do it now. And um, yeah, and uh, I hope to see you on the next one. And thank you again for, for watching this video. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye now.